Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to ARK Invest Daily in five minutes or less. What a wonderful day today, guys. All green, most of it at least. Uh, very green for ARK as well. So let's go over the highlights. Um, DraftKings, a big position added there, along with Berkeley Lights. Uh, they added it to a new ETF. So we'll go over details in a bit. Um, one company was completely removed though. So uh, stay tuned to find out which one it was. I'll see you on the other side. A like and subscribe would be great guys. This is a new channel. So please show your support. Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is our summary that we go over every day on trading days, uh, look at high level trends and high level numbers. So this is a market value currently for all the ETFs of ARK combined, 53.7 billion, which is better, actually 5.3% better than yes, than last trading day, which was on Friday. So all good news today, even though it's not uh, back to its original level, but uh, these corrections are expected. I uh, cannot always go all up. So finally, we see uh, that's starting to go back up again. Now, in terms of uh, number of companies that they have in their portfolio, Looks like there's uh, one company removed and uh, we'll find out which one uh, in the biggest move section. So stay tuned for that. By ETF, um, the overall picture, high level picture looks the same. ARK Innovation Fund is the biggest uh, pie, biggest uh, slice of the pie followed by genomics, followed by Next Generation Web, FinTech, um, ARK Robotics, Print and Israel. Uh, in terms of ranking, uh, we know that Tesla always is number one by, by far. Then uh, Teladoc Health, Square, Roku. Uh, followed by some other ones. Oh, uh, Zillow number six. That's interesting too. Um, has climbed up to that spot. Now let's take a look at DocuSign is uh, one more company that somebody was interested in. So I just want to show here that it's ranked 21, 21st on the, uh, on, the, uh, on the ranking chart where we have 264 companies or 63 now. Um, so this is the trend of uh, share count. They have been constantly adding to their position and uh, they sold a little bit in between sold or uh, reduced the position a little bit in between um, but uh, yeah added back on more uh, and the stock price uh, has gone down quite a bit and then picking back up also so that's DocuSign uh, now let's take a look at our favorite ones that we always do Grayscale Bitcoin stays at position 40 it was at position 40 in past as well so they're maintaining their position uh, and uh, price going up a little bit Grayscale Bitcoin, for people who don't know, is a is a fund that keeps following the uh, the price of Bitcoin because Ark is not allowed to invest in Bitcoin legally, so they invest in this. It follows the price of Bitcoin. Now let's take a look at our other favorite, which is Nano Dimensions. It used to be in this area somewhere. Oh, uh, there it is, 82. So yeah, its trend has been um, mostly upwards in terms of shares count. And then uh, the price picking up back again a little bit today, which is probably the story of every every company today. So there it is, uh, high level numbers. Now let's go to biggest moves quickly. So today in biggest moves, we have one class A, which was recently added. The uh, sticker symbol is A-O-N-E, A1. And uh, as you can see, they added 34% more shares to it, uh, taking it the total to uh, 500,000 shares rounded up value. Now the stock price had gone down in past, now picking back up again today, which is probably story of every company today. Now Berkeley Lights um, added a lot more shares today, almost 10%, and uh, the price continues to hover around 61, 62. Next is DraftKings. So that's uh, one stock that I think many people were invested in, and uh, um, they added a big position back in uh, back in early February. Arc added that position uh, in the chart, as it looks like. Today also they added uh, another 9% to it, 9.3%, taking the total share count to 2 million. So, um, okay, even before that, let me explain what we are going through for people who are watching it for the first time. These are the biggest moves by share count. So uh, how many shares they hold. Then later we'll go through the biggest moves by dollars, market value. That could be because of more shares were added or just the market was up or the stock price was up. So we'd look at both the slices. And as I'm hovering over each of these bars, you will see this pop up um, charts that will show you total share count trend and stock price trend to give you more context. So that's uh, DraftKings. Then uh, Serapeta Therapeutics, again, um, another position added there. Looks like in past there was some uh, remove, but now added more. Some 6% shares added more there. And the stock price uh, kind of flat compared to uh, Friday. So it has gone up in past, down in general, up, up more recently, and then uh, flat compared to Friday. Now, 
the ones that were removed. Salesforce was completely removed. This has been popping up in past in past few uh, reports also that we did. As you can see, the trend of share count has plummeted. Uh, they reduced uh, 71% one day, 94% today, and uh, one day, and today completely removed 100%. So the stock price has gone down to 206 as well. So that's uh, Salesforce. That's the company that they completely removed. Flur system, I'm not aware of this company, but looks like a lot of shares removed for this as well. Uh, stock price uh, saying the same story as any other stock today, rising up a little bit. Uh, so that's uh, biggest moves by share count. Now let's take a look at biggest moves by um, dollars or market value. Now, I was not able to find any negatives, uh, only if I increase, if I reduce this threshold uh, to very minimum, I'll see some. But in the meantime, let's take a look at others. Tesla, we always look at uh, the ranking is number one and the share count looks like is increased by 1.3% to 5.2 million. And the stock price coming slightly back up to $718.40. Uh, Square, Roku, um, Pacifica Biosciences, they're maintaining the position slightly added slightly added, um, Teladoc Health added some more 2.9% to uh, total is now 11.3 million shares, stock price climbing a little bit back up. In Vite, again, same story, uh, increase in stock price, whereas they've been reducing this in past, looks like the share count has been going down in past few days, um, but uh, maintaining whatever was the position on Friday, Zoom, PayPal, Baidu, so, a lot of these twist bioscience is exact zillow group so yeah that's uh, the, the biggest moves by uh, market value if you reduce it by a lot then you will start seeing some negatives i think well, still nothing see i reduced it to 15 yeah if you reduce it to 10 then you'll see one negative which is bristol myers squib um, looks like they reduced their position to 2.6 million shares and the stock price is slightly ticking up today um, but overall it's a negative uh, of 13 million so that's uh, that's the biggest moves guys let's, let's take a look at any new companies added yeah it shows a new company added called berkeley lights but it's uh, not really new it's new to this fund which is innovation fund so we'll go over that um, it is uh, um, 100,000 shares at 6 million a market value 62 dollars 30 cent each so that's the new position added no it's not a new company but new company in this innovation fund for sure now let's take a look at uh, the trend that we always do. Um, let's take a look at Tesla quickly. We already did, by the way, but uh, then again, just let's slice it by ETF. So bought more in Arc Innovation, slightly reduced, uh, slightly reduced, very slightly, 0.1%, um, and maintained in this one, Arc Robotics. And here, slightly increased 1.9%. So yeah, hardly any change in position in Tesla, uh, very little. And then uh, market value trend is basically a function of these two combined, obviously, so that's that. Now let's take a look at, uh, so overall, if you look at Tesla, it's just 1.3% up in terms of number of shares. Yeah, people who are joining us for the first time, we have three charts, share count trend, stock price trend, and market value trend, which is a function of these two. So we always look at three companies that we uh, that are our favorite kind of. So let's say Bitcoin. Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, slightly up 0.4% to 13.7 million uh, shares for this one. Um, and uh, value coming back up as well. Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. It looks like I have multiple things selected in here. So first select, unselect Grayscale Bitcoin. Let's go to Bitcoin. Yeah, reduce the position of just a little bit, 0.1%, and the stock price 45.8. Now, uh, this is uh, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. Uh, they basically mimic the price of bitcoin because uh, arc is not legally allowed to uh, invest in bitcoin they invest in this fund which just follows the bitcoin price now let's um, i have not seen it as etf part of, oh, okay makes sense it's part of arc next generation web etf now let's take a look at it could be part of uh, fintech also but it looks like it's part of next generation web due to due to bit um what's that called uh, blockchain technology so now let's go to nano dimension our another favorite company so it has stayed the same pretty much uh, no change in position 13.8 million today and uh, uh, price has ticked back up slowly this uh, is uh, clearly function of these two combined so it has gone up also a little bit based on this so that's uh, that's all for today folks uh, let me know if anything else you want to see uh, actually one of the comment was to take a look at DocuSign so let me quickly check DocuSign I know we did initially but we never sliced it by EDF 
So it's present in three ETF guys, um, FinTech, uh, Innovation and Next Generation Web. Um, innovation being the biggest position. And then the other two, they have added more to the Innovation Fund, reduced slightly, just slightly in Web, uh, Next Generation Web and uh, uh, in this as well, 0.0% removed in FinTech as well. So, and the stock price bouncing back a little bit. So that should give you some confidence overall, let's say, uh, sorry, this go here overall, let's see. Yep, overall it's 1.2% up. That should give you some confidence. Um, and it is ranking in top 20, I think in the, in overall um, rankings of companies that we saw before. Please refer to it uh, earlier in the video. So for the ranking part. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. A shout out to my favorite people, um, Kathy Wood for inspiring all of us and some of my favorite YouTubers that have inspired me to create this channel. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe and support this new channel. Thanks.